Good morning, Johnson Learning Leopards. Today is Wednesday, June 8th. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for the moment of silence on level zero. All right, everybody, happy Wednesday. It's our last Wednesday of the school year. Um, we have one birthday today, and that is Ruth Jordan in first grade. Happy birthday, Ruth. We love you. We hope you have a super wonderful birthday today. All right, we've got some more leopard leaders to share about. From Ms. Bigler's class, Gianna Brock is a responsible first grader. She takes responsibility for her, her learning. She works hard every day to get better and better. Her hard work pays off. We are so glad she is part of our community. From Ms. Shapiro's class, Emilio Gonzalez Magana has been a great classmate this year. He has worked so hard to use kind words with friends and to take ownership of his mistakes. He listens to his friends more now and apologizes when he has conflicts with his classmates. We are so proud of Emilio's hard work this year. And finally, from Ms. Rinkleball's class, Sabian Rush has worked really hard this year. He shows up each day ready to learn, and he is taking ownership for his learning. Way to go, Sabian, and great job to all of those responsible leopard leaders. All right, please join me in reciting the Johnson Code of Conduct. As a Johnson Learning Leopard, I come to learn. I promise to roar by being respectful, open-minded, actively engaged and responsible. I will always try my best. All right, news you can use. So it is National Best Friends Day, which encourages you obviously to celebrate not just your best friend, but all of your friends that you have. So that's awesome. It's also National Ups a Daisy Day, which I was like, I'm sorry, what is that? Um, so National Ups a Daisy Day is set aside to encourage you to face the day positively and get up gloriously, gratefully, and gleefully each morning. Give it a try. Be grateful and thankful for what you do have, such as a bed to sleep in, food to eat, friends and family, a great teacher, obviously, because you're here at Johnson. Um, try a smile and see how it feels. It may surprise you that it feels good on the inside also and how other people will smile back. So ups a daisy. All right. Our Pride Month hero of the day is Harvey Milk. So Harvey Milk was an American politician and the first openly gay man to be uh, elected to public office in California as a member of the San Francisco Board of Supervisors. Milk served almost 11 months in office, during which he sponsored a bill banning discrimination in public accommodations, housing, and employment on the basis of sexual orientation. Despite his short career in politics, Milk became an icon in San Francisco and in the gay community. So again, this is Harvey Milk. All right, I've got two jokes for you today. The first one is from Joel Becker in Miss Croce's class. How do you cross Crater Lake? How do you cross Crater Lake? In a volcano, volcano. It's like volcano, but it, instead of the cano at the end, it says canoe, like a canoe is what you would cross a lake in. That was great, Joel, thank you. And last but not least for today, we've got a joke from Suleiman Kawaji in Miss Rickaball's class. What time did the man go to the dentist? What time did the man go to the dentist? At 2.30. Get it? Sounds like 2.30, but it's 2.30. Great one, Solomon. Thank you. Y'all, that's all I have for today. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday and think about how you can roar today here at Johnson. We love you so much. We hope you have a wonderful day right smack in the middle of the week.